Hey everyone, this is David Brown with the migration update for May 5th, 2025 from the Derby Hill Hawk Watch. There was some overnight rain that continued into the early morning but was done in time for the Hawk Watch. After that, it was mostly cloudy with a little bit of sun here and there and rain ended the count early. The winds today were primarily out of the east occasionally with a little bit of south in them. The highlight of my morning birding was this stunning songbird. We have a red bird overall with a black wing. This is a male scarlet tanager. Here's another angle of that same male scarlet tanager showing the head and bill a little bit better. After a few days of rain, there were a lot of raptors itching to move. We had a good flight of sharp-shinned hawks today and a lot of them were down quite low because of those easterly winds, which were a headwind. Here's a sharp-shinned hawk in a soar. Notice that small head, and notice that when they're soaring, they fan their tail out completely to have as much surface area as possible to get lift. Here we have a shorebird, just white underneath, with the toes just peeking out past the tail. Overall, a dark underwing and a white eye ring. This is a solitary sandpiper. Here we have a large raptor with an overall black and white plumage with a dark line through the eye and kind of drooping wings. This is an osprey. Here we have a small compact buteo in a soar. We see pointed wingtips and we see barring to the underside of the body and a tail that's dark with white bands on it. This is an adult broad-winged hawk. It seems that the majority of the broad-winged hawks we're seeing are still adults, but we're seeing an increasing number of juveniles such as this one. Notice that the juveniles are just paler looking overall because they don't have that bold trailing edge to the wings and they have a different streaking to the breast. Here we have a small raptor with pointed wings, so we should be thinking a small falcon, and this bird has a lot of dark streaking to the underside of the body. This is a merlin. Here's a very plain looking bird that flew over, and if you ask me how I know what this is, it's kind of hard to describe, but it's something to do with the facial pattern. You can see a little bit of white around the eye and just some patterning to the face. This is an American pipit, the first one of the season. We had at least 10 Baltimore Orioles today with a few hanging out and some just flying over and many of them singing their loud whistled song. Here we have a raptor with a long tail, kind of long skinny somewhat pointed wings and an owl-like facial disc. This is a northern harrier and it's very plain underneath so this is a juvenile. Here we have a flycatcher that's white underneath. We have a dark bill and a black cap to the head and a black tail with a white tip. This is an eastern kingbird. And I also really like seeing the outer primary feathers. They have a really cool shape to them. Most nights recently, I've been running my nocturnal flight call microphone and I've been picking up a lot of marsh birds, things like common gallinules, Virginia rail, American bittern, least bittern, and many of these. This is a green heron, although we're only seeing a few in the daytime. A lot of them seem to be migrating at night. Here we have a large dark raptor. This is an eagle, and we see a large head and really large bill on this bird. And we see a lot of speckly white throughout the underside, including the underside of the body and in the wing pit area. So this is an immature bald eagle. And we had 57 bald eagles migrate today. This time of year, we can really get big bald eagle numbers when we have the right winds. It took us a long time to get one of these today. Here we have a small raptor with pointed wings, so a small falcon. This bird's light overall in color with a little bit of brown streaking to the breast and a distinctive facial pattern. This is a female American kestrel. Here we have a hawk shaped like a flying cross. We see a large head. We see a long tail with a rounded tip. We see wings held out straight and we see a teardrop streaking concentrated on the upper breast. This is a juvenile Cooper's hawk. Altogether today, I had 78 species. We had one new species for the season today, which was American Pipit, bringing us to a total of 170 bird species for the season. Taking a look at the hawk count report for our migrating raptor totals, today we had 114 turkey vultures, 21 ospreys, 57 bald eagles. We had 16 northern harriers, 198 sharp-shinned hawks, and 4 cooper's hawks. For buteos, we had 2 red-shouldered hawks, 248 broad-winged hawks, and 15 red-tailed hawks. And for falcons, we had 3 American kestrels and 3 merlins for a total of 681 migrating raptors. That brings the May total to 2,038 and the season total to 80,296. 
taking a look at the forecast tomorrow. It's looking mostly cloudy in the morning, then possible thunderstorms for the afternoon with gusty winds possible with those storms. A high in the mid to upper 60s and winds south southeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. So conditions are looking really good for the morning tomorrow with those southeasterly winds. That's our best wind and 10 to 15 miles per hour is a great speed and we'll have a little bit of sunshine. So there should be some thermals as well. I would expect it to be a good morning for songbirds, although there's a lot of rain in the first half of the night tonight. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if some migration picks up once that rain stops around midnight. That could continue into a good morning songbird flight, and then it should be a good raptor flight as well in the morning. As we get into the afternoon, I think the winds are going to die off a little bit, and we'll have to see what ends up happening with the, the rain and thunderstorms. But tomorrow morning is definitely looking good, and after tomorrow, it's really looking hit or miss uh, for a lot of days. So tomorrow is looking like the last good day for at least a little while. So if you're able to come out, tomorrow would be a good day. For Wednesday, considerable cloudiness with occasional rain showers and a high near 55. Winds west-southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. So overall, with the gloomy conditions, I wouldn't expect much migration. Light, maybe moderate migration. We'll keep an eye on it tomorrow. And for Thursday, it's looking cloudy with a high in the low 50s and light north-northwest winds. We'll be down at the south lookout and would expect light, maybe moderate migration. All right, today ended up being a really nice day of birding. With that rain in the morning, I was able to get a nice hike in and focus on the songbirds before the raptors were getting up. And then conditions ended up being better than expected with that bit of sunshine. It helped get everything up. And this time of year, we're still getting a good variety of raptors. So today was a great day of birding, and it looks like tomorrow will be as well. So hope to see you out soon at Derby Hill. From Lego Birds, this is David Brown. Thanks for watching.